I've got this, which I'm going to um, undo and I'll show you each part as I go. Okay, so this is the laser. I'm gonna pull the humidifier out so that I can explain it slightly better. You'll see I have two holes or modifications. And so what I've done is one of these sides detaches, goes at a certain angle and lifts, I believe. I figured it out before and I just wanna make sure I get it right. Oh yeah, it's down. There it is. Right here, you can see that there's an opening there. That's where I, I hit it down to release the lid, okay? When it's at this angle, up, not down. Okay, and it pops down and then you can pull this peg out. All right, so now when you've got this out, I just drilled a hole here and I also use the same drill bit to make an edge right there. That's all, there's no damage to the actual humidifier. Now, you don't have to do this part, but to me, this makes it a lot easier and I'll explain what I mean. Um, now that I've got that in there, I would insert like this, go to the same angle and pull up. Oop. And now it's installed so that it closes and opens um, just like normal. Um, so what I'm going to do is this laser is gonna go in over the top. Now, if you don't have the hole, I'll show you from this side, you just dangle it in. Okay, right to where it says max water line. Can you see right here? It says maximum. That's about where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the laser at about that height. And then you can adjust it. Okay, so now you can see that's the maximum height the water is gonna go to. And this has to go inside. And so if you just dangle it, it's fine. Your humidifier will stay open. It's not a big deal. No debris is gonna go in. You don't need a hole at all. But if you do it like I do, it'll go on the other side. You'll magnet it on there. And then I just created this little opening here so I can uh, bend the cord right in there and it stays flush and closed. I just liked how clean that was.